Welcome to the Cretaceous Garden. My name is Jim. I'm looking after the plants here this year. And today we're going to release some predator insects to take care of some of the pests in our garden. So we've got a couple kinds of beetles here. We've got ladybugs in this bag. And we've got some ladybug-like beetles in these vials. So let's go turn them loose. So we're going to release these ladybugs at different places in the garden so that they can uh, spread out. We'll get really good coverage. So we're going to open the bag and uh, we're going to start setting them free. How are you doing there, Jim? I'm okay. Are you yeah, a little bit ticklish, yeah. Nope, there's no frog under there. So in the garden we use predator insects to try and control some of the insect pests because this is a public space. We don't want to be using a lot of pesticides. These particular little beetles eat things like mealyworms and uh, aphids and so forth. So they're, they're a generalist predator that we use. One of the pests in the Cretaceous garden that we're trying to manage is an animal called mealybug, which is a sucking insect. They tend to live on the undersides of leaves, pierce the, uh, the leaves and stems and suck the juices out. And they can really cause a lot of damage to plants. And here on this cycad, if we flip the leaf over, we'll see there's a number of mealy bugs. They look sort of like white powder. And uh, that's a moderate infestation. So the ladybugs and the cryptolamus, when we release them, they're gonna feed on these and they're gonna help reduce the population. So we're gonna release some of the cryptolamus beetles right here on the cycad that we looked at. So they should be able to quite easily find some tasty mealybugs to feed on. So in addition to using two different kinds of beetles to control insects like mealyworms, we're also trying to control thrips in here. So we've got two, two different insects we're using, these little tiny beetle-like things called aureus and some mites, which are related to spiders, really tiny animals that will also eat the thrips. Stay tuned next week when we release wolves.